Guardian journalist Simon Hoggett has died aged 67 from pancreatic cancer. The newspaper has confirmed Hoggett, who died on Sunday, was also known for presenting Radio 4's The News Quiz for 10 years up until 2006. The Guardian's editor, Alan Rusbridger, said, Simon was a terrific reporter and columnist, and a great parliamentary sketch writer. Hoggett wrote political sketches for The Guardian, and a column on wine for The Spectator. Rusbridger added, he wrote with mischief and a sometimes acid eye about the theatre of politics. But he wrote from a position of sophisticated knowledge and respect for Parliament. A daily reading of his sketch told you things about the workings of Westminster which no news story could ever convey. He will be much missed by readers and his colleagues. King Lear, the BBC's political editor Nick Robinson described Hoggett as a giant amongst political commentators. Few could match his wit and wisdom. He often laughed at politicians. He sometimes laughed with them. However, he never ever sneered at them, he added. Gwyneth Williams, controller of BBC Radio 4 said he would be remembered most fondly for his contribution to the news quiz. He was hugely popular with our listeners who valued his lively mind, his wit and humour, his love of satire and deep knowledge of politics which helped to turn the show into what it is today. He will be sadly missed. Hoggett gave up his Saturday column for the newspaper in December following complications from his condition and another round of chemotherapy. His final article, a review of the year, appeared on 19 December. Hoggett was diagnosed with terminal cancer three and a half years ago. He died at the Royal Marsden Hospital in London. He grew up in Hull and Leicester before joining the Guardian straight from university and first began his sketches there in the 1970s resuming this work in 1993 after a 12-year stint at The Observer. A prolific writer, he also published 20 books and took part in many radio and TV programs. Guardian colleague Michael White said Hoggett remained determined not to give up, nor to let his illness become widely known lest it detract from the laughter he always sought to generate. Conservative MP Michael Fabricant, a regular target of Hoggett's sketches, said, such sad news. He teased me mercilessly but always kindly. Referring to his time at the helm of the news quiz, his Radio 4 colleague Coy Cowfield also paid tribute, saying, I, like to think that somewhere rather special Simon Hoggett is now being told to get a move on by Alan Corrin, with lovely Linda Smith laughing. Hoggett's Guardian Review of the Year included the death of Margaret Thatcher, the birth of Prince George and the resurrection of the idea of leaving the EU. He rarely mentioned being ill, although in a November column he wrote, I've been off sick for the past week or so. It's a weird experience being at home, alone for the most part, like being a goldfish in a bowl of treacle, moving slowly and largely pointlessly. Much of the time I have felt too ill to read anything. So I watch daytime television. A lot of it is hypnotizing. He never shied away from fierce criticism of politicians. In a recent sketch, he described Shadow Chancellor Ed Balls as sounding like King Lear, raging against the storm that was blowing outside. And in his final sketch, he wrote that David Cameron smiled like the Cheshire Cat after a large sherry. Hoggett lampooned many government heavyweights over the years including the former Deputy Prime Minister John Prescott and gleefully reported on Mr Prescott's performances when he took Prime Minister's question time in Tony Blair's absence. The writer gleefully described Gordon Brown's smile by writing that it looked as if the nodding dog in a car was channeling the Joker. He also once described John Redwood as not a space alien, but a nerd, a school swat. The kind of chap who gets too interested in his subject. I used to expect him to appear in the chamber wearing short pants with a slide rule down his socks.